Michelle, Tessa, thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. It's 645 on a Thursday morning, the day after the storms. We still got almost 50,000 people without power, mainly across our southern county. Still got a fair amount of cloud cover out there as well. Uh, we should break that up as we go on through the day. And as we look at live to operate our most of our area is dry. But if you head down to the southeastern portion of our viewing area, uh, across mainly Calhoun County. We've got an area where we just had a few showers. Some of them producing some brief steadier rain in these areas of orange and uh, yellow here. Very little lightning with that. We've had some lightning earlier, but now the lightning strikes are becoming more uh, few and far between here. Uh, and we'll have the chance as we go through the day, even as we go into the afternoon, especially in locations south and east of Grand Rapids, where some of this uh, higher moisture has pooled in some of this, I don't want to say untapped area, but where there's a little more energy down here out ahead of the cold front to where we'll still see at least the chance of some showers and thunderstorms there. We're not looking for anything severe. That was yesterday, but the best chance of these showers and thunderstorms will likely stay to the south and east of Grand Rapids through the day. So let's look at our temperatures. It's warm out there. Feels like Florida, not only because of the temperatures, but mainly because of the humidity out there. You could just feel that moisture sitting in the air. 70, 72 degrees along and south of the I-94 corridor. We dropped to 69 in Hastings, 70 in Charlotte, 70 in Allegan. As we head up to the north, 72 in Granville and Grand Rapids, 71 in Sparta over to Belding. And then our northern counties, we're sitting in the lower 70s as well. And uh, that's only part of it, though. We have that uh, humidity out there and those high dew point temperatures up around 70, just making it feel very tropical. Partly cloudy to partly sunny skies today. It is going to continue to be warm and humid. Maybe a shower thunderstorm, especially to the south and east of Grand Rapids through the day. 84 degrees for the high temperature. We'll have a southwest to eventually behind the cold front. We'll move through. We'll squeeze those until the wind switch out of the north at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. There's the cold front at noon. That'll eventually blast on through here. And you can see where some of that moisture and energy pool out ahead of the front south and east of Grand Rapids, where we could have a shower thunderstorm still continuing through the afternoon hours. Eventually, we'll go into tomorrow morning. We're talking just partly cloudy skies. We'll see more in the way of sunshine for Friday. Partly cloudy to partly sunny skies um, and less humid. Not a lot, but slightly less humid as we get into our Friday. And then Friday night into Saturday, there's not much going on. Saturday is going to be mostly sunny to partly cloudy, hot and humid with highs up around 90 degrees. You can see by Saturday night, there's a cold front sitting way off to our north and west. That will start to ease in here as we go into Sunday night and Monday. And that comes through the area on Monday. And there may be a better chance of some showers and some thunderstorms by that time. Our super seven day plan are 84 degrees for today. Maybe a shower thunderstorm south and east of GR. 86 here on Friday, 90 on Saturday. By the time we get into Sunday, we're in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees, hot and humid. I think most of Sunday is dry, but here's what it looks like at 6 p.m. on Sunday. You can see the low pressure area and all that rain that's off here to the north and west. Again, I think we'll be dry, but as we get into Sunday night and especially going into Monday, this system will make its way on through and you can see that green overspreading the area. So Monday looks like the best chance of more shower and maybe some thunderstorm activity by that time. That's in our forecast. As you can see the icon there, 82 degrees there and then upper 70s to around the 80 degree mark by the time we get into Tuesday and Wednesday next week. That's our forecast. We're approaching 649. Let's check our traffic conditions again. Here's Rob.